Hey guys, this is Chase from the TechUnion.com. Uh, this is the first tutorial in my beginner uh, After Effects tutorial series. This is basically just the basics of After Effects. Uh, I'm assuming uh, that you've never seen After Effects before, or maybe you have seen it, but you haven't done anything with it. So I'm going to go about this as if it's your first time ever looking at this program. Now, if you already have looked at it, then good for you. You're one step ahead. So uh, let's get right on into this. So basically, you would have seen a little screen pop up when you first opened it. Uh, just close that. Don't worry about that. Um, but this is what After Effects looks like, and it looks pretty complicated, but once you get to know what everything does, it gets pretty uh, simplified for you. So let's go ahead and start by discussing what all these panels are. So let's first start over here. This is your project panel. As you can see, it's labeled. Uh, this is basically where all your footage goes and any other assets that you bring inside of After Effects. Uh, down here, uh, we'll discuss that in a moment. This is basically where uh, all your stuff that you drag in is going to appear, and you'll be able to see it here. This is kind of your uh, view box, if you will. Um, we'll talk about this stuff once we get this in. I have an image on my desktop. This is my background. I'm going to drag this into my project panel, and that's how you basically get stuff inside of After Effects. Now, before we do anything with this picture, you can see when I click on it, it shows up right there we need to make a new composition now basically what a composition is is it's basically um, After Effects uh, After Effects is way to organize all these different clips and stuff you have and you know set the parameters for what you want I, I'm just gonna show you guys so to create a composition there's basically uh, several ways you can do it you can either click this button down here which will create a new composition you can go to composition new composition you can click control in or you can right click and create a new composition so when I call this composition uh, uh, basics because that's what we're doing this is basically uh, the preset for the resolution of your composition as well as the frame rate uh, I'm just keeping this on 1920 by 1080 because that's the resolution of this picture and the frame rate doesn't matter because it's a picture all this other stuff don't worry about this is basically the duration uh, you can set this to say like 10 seconds and you know it's not going to mess with it much this is the background color you can change that and that's basically all you need to do so once you've created your composition uh, it'll probably look something like this I'm using After Effects CC 2014 if you're using an older version of After Effects it may look a little different but everything's fine still so basically to get this clip into um, our view box here you can either drag it into the timeline or you can drag it into your composition like so and boom there it is so now that we have our image in our composition we can start talking about what all these little uh, buttons up here do as well as all these other panels um, this down here is the timeline basically if you click here and you scrub uh, I call it scrubbing uh, you can just see your video and this is a picture so of course nothing's happening over here you have your effects and presets this is where you apply all of the effects that come with after effects onto this clip we'll get that we'll get into that more later uh... this is for text don't worry about that yet uh... don't worry about this this is your preview uh... window i guess uh... uh that's for video so let's not worry about that right now i'm trying sorry i'm trying to keep it as simple as possible um, let's just talk about what some of this stuff does up here. Now this is your basic uh, selection tool, you know, your mouse cursor. This is where you just click on stuff, you know, uh, basic. This is your hand tool. Now your hand tool, you can basically drag around uh, this, you know, little, your composition basically. Now the difference between this and clicking on the selection tool and this is that with the selection tool, you're just dragging your clip. I'm going to control Z which undoes by the way and with the hand tool you're dragging the whole thing so you can put it down there and then move that basically you want to think of it as you're not really with the hand tool you're not moving you're only moving your perspective you're not actually moving anything here but you know that's pretty simple um, right here this basically just zooms in and out so if you want to click it zooms in if you want to can I think it's let's see alt click yeah alt click zooms out but I just scroll with the mouse wheel. That's much simpler for me. Alright, this one right here is rotation. 
pretty simple just click and drag and it will rotate your clip uh, once again very simple this is for 3d we won't get into that yet this um, this is your anchor point um, this basically just kind of moves around the anchor point of your clip so if the anchor point is here and we say rotate it it's going to rotate around this point now if we were to take our anchor point and we move it and say up here now it's going to rotate around that point uh, pretty simple stuff uh, we move on to uh, these are some masking tools we'll get into that in a later uh, episode or series whatever um, this is your text so say I wanted to type some text I could say um, mountain if I can spell All right, go down here and drag it over there it is mountain now you see me switching between all this stuff really quickly well, that's because I know the shortcuts and I really recommend you get to know these shortcuts you know it's V for selection H for hand uh, you know W for rotation uh, you know, get all get to know all these shortcuts. They're quite important. Uh, we won't get into all this stuff for right now. This is just basically some more stuff that uh, we'll get into later. But that's basically um, the majority of what you need to know right now is the basics. Uh, you just need to know what all these things do up here. You need to understand this is your timeline. These down here are layers. So you see the text is a layer. This is an individual layer that I can move around. Okay, and then this is an individual layer. If I click on it, I can move it around. Um, and let's see. Okay, we have our timeline effects. We'll get into this a little bit later. But let's say we wanted to. Mm, let's say we wanted to add a glow. So this is a really basic effect. We're just going to add this to. Uh, our background and you know make this look a little crazy make it look a little more scenic I don't know something like that uh, that's basically how you apply an effect to a layer you basically find it and drag it onto your layer and that opens up the effects panel it's right by the project panel so if you want to get back to the project panel you can click over here and this is your effect right here so those are basically the things that you need to know straight off going into After Effects. Uh, just with these tools alone, you can do a lot of things. So just get into After Effects, play around with it some, and uh, get to know it. Um, I recommend going into these uh, composition settings and looking around, see what these do, because these are going to become very important once you get to working with video. Uh, so. I suggest going in here and looking around at that um, but that's really just all you need to know at this point in time uh, so thanks for watching I hope you took away something from this um, once again this was extremely basic uh, once we get into the other ones the beginner tutorials it's gonna all start to make sense and come together and you'll start being able to do some pretty cool things so thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next episode bye